Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? So this week's singles love reading, I'm gonna focus on your next date, who it'll be and anything else I see you may need to know. Oh, there we go, I see Angel of Balance. So it's an energy of being balanced emotionally. It's also an energy of being patient. Okay, and balance between head and heart I feel as well. Yeah, so patience is definitely an issue, but it has to do with the timing. Okay, so timing's probably just right. Some patience will definitely pay off here. Yeah, so I do see a little moon energy, goddess of the moon. So, now this is energy of being a little mysterious. Okay, it's all, all may not be what it seems here as well, but with the goddess of the moon, it has to do with kind of getting to know someone there's things that you won't know about this person because it's a first date unless you do know them it's possible um, but with the goddess of the moon is an energy of you know romance <laughs> being patient okay waiting for the right time so i definitely feel that this is an energy of kind of head and heart here too and that patience will be pay off will pay off so do be a little mysterious don't share everything about yourself with somebody that you don't know right away okay be a little mysterious but i definitely feel the energy of waiting patiently for this romance so your first the first date could be romantic <laughs> it's possible but i feel it's saying to be patient for that it's all about divine timing doing things at the right time okay so capricorn what is it oh there we go uh, I see the wheel, so a cycle ending, a new cycle. So it's, this is where things start to go in your favor. So patience is required, balancing head and heart. Yeah, being in the right place the right time possibly too. Yeah, see there it is, temperance, tempering the passions, emotions, kind of pulling back if something feels off, you want to look at it, okay? You want to make sure it's in your best interest. But I actually feel this is positive because it's an energy of patience paying off. Okay, tempering those emotions and the passion a little bit. See that romantic energy? <laughs> so there is a need for patience here. Wow. Yeah, it's someone who kind of, someone taking their time is likely yourself. You're likely going to want to get to know someone. Looking at the details, feeling a little apprehensive, but yeah, I feel like this is something that could be successful. Yeah. Could be someone you're waiting for to ask you out too. You might have been patient. So I feel like it'll pay off. Okay. Yeah, you're probably going to meet somebody and then have to wait patient them for them to actually, they're likely focused on money. This is often a person who focuses a lot on their finances. Yeah, ace of inspiration. There's definitely a physical attraction. See, some chemistry, but it's about tempering it and just being patient. <laughs> yeah, that physical attraction, the connection, the chemistry. Ooh, yeah, you got an emperor here. Yeah, it's definitely an emperor energy. So very nice. I see Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I can see the emperor is often Aries. Now, the emperor can really be anyone here. So yeah, I feel this is someone quite attractive. Absolutely. But I also feel this is someone here who I feel is wants to be patient as well. I really feel that. There it is. Is someone longing for love? You see, they're longing for love. <laughs> if you have a date with someone, it may take a while for them to ask you out again. Okay. Yeah, lots of energy of patience, but it's an energy of avoiding the temptation of rushing in. It's about just taking your time. Okay. Not rushing too fast. Yeah, there's definitely an energy of longing for love. Yeah, this is definitely... <laughs> <laughs> someone longing for that physical connection but i do feel they'll be patient this is someone who's mastered that okay they've mastered that energy of being patient so why because it's an emperor this is somebody who has mastered the elements of the kings okay now that could even be yourself capricorn this could become from a masculine point of view but i'm seeing two energies somewhat similar yeah, see, night of emotion, there's the date, see, it's definitely someone who's got romantic thoughts, you know, little whining and dining, they're definitely exploring their feelings, so that's why I feel it's someone who's just going to kind of go with the flow, see what happens, and I do feel, you know, this energy of 
that little bit of a mystery. It's a, it's an energy of emotional intimacy. It's an energy of just getting, you know, getting to know somebody here is what I feel and just kind of taking it slow. So, yeah, I do think there's chemistry. <laughs> Your person's likely got some earth in their chart too. Yeah, a little Pisces energy as well. Yeah, this is somebody here who's taking a little pause. They look at things from the other person's perspective seeing things from each other's point of view okay so like i say you could have someone who's a little fiery and passionate here they may want to move a little faster they're longing for love definitely okay this is someone who definitely wants love but yeah like i say if you meet someone at the right place and right time the timing could be off a little where they're focused more on work so like i say you may need to be patient there before they actually you know get around to asking you out and it's also getting around to that romance you see being romantic sometimes a person likes to spend a little time with someone okay that little bit of apprehension where they you know they definitely want it there's a physical attraction but this is also a person who's mastering all that energy you know, this is someone who knows yeah to be patient they also see things and it's about seeing things from the other person's perspective so yeah, this is someone who's enlightened. They know. They certainly do. And then we have the Knight of Voices and the world. Yeah, so it is an energy of change. Change for the better. Yeah, this is definitely, see, this is somebody who wants to kind of take it slow in case someone changes their mind. Because you don't know. It's a mystery. You don't know. It's, it's about, you know, both people, their innermost secrets. You don't know this person well. Okay, even if it's someone in your social circle, you might know them, but you don't know everything about this person. So I feel it's about being patient uh, to do with romance. It's about thinking things through, taking a pause, looking at how the other person may feel. So that's why I feel it's kind of like yourself just wanting to take it slow. Okay, balancing head or heart, staying in control of those emotions. Now, the emperor is not ruled by their emotions. This is someone who's mastered that. Uh, they are physically attracted. They're definitely, <laughs> they're looking at this. This could be the one. It's They're definitely longing for love. There's no doubt this person wants love. But this is also someone who, who um, reminisces about past. Okay. So this is someone who knows. Yeah. Even though they're physically attractive, they're tempering that. So, yeah. I, I don't think you're going to have a problem with this person. I feel that it's both people being patient, waiting for the right time. You see, making sure the time when the time is right, it's not rushing into it. You know, it's not focusing on it. It's just getting to know each other because, yeah, sometimes people change their mind once they get to know someone or their feelings change. So, yeah, this is someone exploring those feelings, definitely taking action. They're going to ask you out. Okay. Yeah, they are somebody who I feel is mature. Why? They're able to put the shoe on the other foot to see how the other person feels. So that's why I feel you got an emperor. It's right in the heart of the reading here. Okay. So let's clarify a few things. I want to look at uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, it has to do with some commitment, strong financial foundation, a house and home. It could be someone in your neighborhood around you. But it's definitely a person who you know, kind of looks at if they want things to go in their favor, they need to be patient, okay? And if you want this person to be patient, I don't think you have anything to worry about, okay? They are solid, financially stable, I feel. You know, they have a house and a home, but I do feel this could go somewhere. I mean, yeah, just kind of hanging out, I think, spending time together. That's what it's really all about, right? Just, yeah, I see positive change, though. I, this could, I'm going to tell you, this could actually go someplace. But it's about being emotionally intimate, showing your innermost selves first. Okay, getting to know each other. Um, you know, that inside energy. Everyone has little things about themselves that are unknown. They don't tell anyone. <laughs> so let's have a look at temperance. Yeah, see, being patient. See, it has to do with commitment. If you want things to go in your favor, you want this person to commit, vice versa, you know, being patient for marriage or invitation to a house, somebody's house or home, you see. It's all these things. Yeah, it's an energy of patience paying off. Yeah. Tell me about the night of materials. 
Capricorn. Yeah, see a little trust issue. See, somebody has a few trust issues. Okay, but I also see a little frustration. <laughs> Some of you might be, somebody wants to go slow, you may feel like you don't trust them. Or they feel that way if you're telling them that. See, trust issues. But to me, it looks like a little frustration. <laughs> Someone's longing for love. It's like they want to get things going here. But, you know, it has to do with the timing needs to be right. And it needs to be the right time for both people. It has to go in both people's favor. So, yeah, there we have a there's strong Pisces energy. So it's energy of trusting your inner knowing, kind of going within. So I feel like it's this person too, seeing things from a different perspective. You see, it's about having learning, earning someone's trust, taking it slow, looking at the details. See, someone feels a little apprehensive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a little cancer energy. So it has to do with, you know, I do feel it's full steam ahead. Is someone here definitely not ruled by their emotions? I do feel a head and heart, but there is a little trust or frustration. Mm-hmm. Some of you may feel someone's manipulating you if they say, let's go slow, or they may feel that way. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to trust somebody who's moving very slow because you don't really know, okay? You don't know everything. Things are hidden, so it becomes kind of confusing. Yeah, this could go, really could go either way, but I do feel someone is definitely, you know, full steam ahead. They're determined that this is successful, okay? So it's someone who's trying to control themselves, <laughs> Yeah, they're, you know, and I, I feel like they don't want to, but they're going to because they know better. This is someone who knows themselves. They've gone within. See, they know sometimes they change their minds. So they're thinking it through before they rush in. You see, before they rush to anything. There's the opportunity. See, this is the opportunity. Some kind of invitation or just talk communication. But it's the start of something. Let's have a look at the emperor. Yeah, this is somebody who, yeah, they do work a lot. So it has to do with putting in the effort. That's what I feel. Somebody who's focused a lot on their finances. So like I say, you have to be patient with this person. They only have so much time. Okay. But they're definitely determined that this is successful. They're trying not to get emotionally invested too quickly because they do have that water energy here. In fact, you both could have cancer Pisces energy where... Like I say, I, I feel like it's energy of rushing in too quick without thinking it through. Choosing your battles, you know. This is someone who's choosing to focus a little more on their work. Yeah, see, focused on work, but I do feel they will put in the effort. You know, they're perfecting their craft. I definitely see this has been someone single for a while. They are longing for love, but they're also remembering past situations, lessons learned. Uh, definitely someone who's looking out for themselves. Uh, definitely a very independent energy, a little Virgo energy there. Yeah, but see, there's that. You're going to look at that offer opportunity communication. You're going to look at the details. See, there it is. It has to do with making choices in love. Yeah. I mean, you could have a couple choices. It's possible. There could be someone who's moving too slow. You're not trusting them. You may decide to, you know exit stage right and take another opportunity you could have somebody who kind of swoops in here too it's often a person who just kind of comes in out of the blue and makes you an offer opportunity the empress yeah see it's an energy of just being open to love staying very balanced capricorn you know that um energy here i feel is about being balanced but being open to love being open to opportunity some of you i feel you and this person maybe have both been single for a while they definitely have they focused on work they're enjoying the fruits of their labor so this is someone who chose that battle they now are ready to focus a little more on their love life so this is where patience pays off the empress is often patient why is the empress patient because the Empress knows patience pays off. It's also an energy of doing the due diligence, making sure you know this person, okay? Like I say, it's raining in. Don't get too emotionally connected too quick. See, the Empress doesn't, and neither does the Emperor. And I like, because I actually feel like you're going to get each other here. I just feel like you know, something here to do with, you know, you both want love. <laughs> you both could be single parents, uh, two, there could be that. So that's where you want to make sure someone puts in the effort. Yeah, you want to make sure someone puts in the effort. I also see a little inner work. See? 
Yeah, nice energy though. So I do see the dating. Let's have a look. Some of you, like I say, it could be someone who's moving too slow. You're out of here because you have another opportunity. Okay, some of you definitely could. So yeah, see, something you've been waiting for, someone to communicate, to talk to you and offer a date, situation coming to fruition. Yeah, is it worth waiting for this? <laughs> yeah. See, I actually feel like you got a person who puts the shoe on the other foot. If you're asking someone to be patient with you, okay, because often the Empress will, you know, make sure someone's patient, they put in the effort. Mm -hmm. There's things that need to be known with the goddess of the moon. I also see being a little mysterious, making someone very curious too. But yeah, if you don't trust somebody, we'll see what that's all about. Okay, because I feel like there's something else it's trying to tell me. I just want to make sure I catch it. So there's this energy of waiting for this date, for this person to take action, to communicate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, looks like it's connected to this emperor. Yeah, someone taking a pause, putting the shoe on the other foot. Could be someone who's been checking you out in your neighborhood, too. You might not even realize this person's just waiting for the right time. They could see you go coming and going to work, or you do work with this person, maybe even work for them. All kinds of scenarios there. Now, this is definitely a person who's, you know, definitely hardworking, but I do feel they're mature. I feel they're capable. They're creative. Um, so someone who knows what they want. See, they're thinking things through, you know, choosing their battles. This is something worth going after. So, yeah, this is not someone who will keep you waiting for too long. <laughs> this person moves a little faster. Yeah, so that does look like some of you are getting an offer from someone else. So while you're waiting for someone else, it looks like something else happens. Another person comes in, like it usually does, out of the blue. Tell me about this night of voices. Yeah, see, look at that. You got somebody here, like I say, this is someone who was younger, who may have rushed into a situation uh, before they thought things through, changed their mind. See, here for a good time, not a long time. So it's trying to tell you something, but I feel like this person's definitely, so it, it could be just someone who's leveled up, okay, grown up, mature. They're, they now think things through, they choose their battles. This is someone who is very logical and that's why I feel they're connected to the Empress. This is someone who's quite, you know, they have a lot of self-discipline, okay? Definitely a hard worker, there's no doubt. So, yeah. Oh, there we have the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, and then there's that moon. See, it's an energy of asking questions. If you feel confused, ask questions. But I also feel it's that energy of those that innermost self, the emotional intimacy. Yeah, you may have had someone who kept secrets from you before. So this is where I feel like you're discerning your wise. Often the Queen of Swords is sometimes a person who's been hurt before. Okay, or someone who's just learned some lessons. But it's really about... Uh, communicating. See, it's an energy of change. You see, change for the better. So if you have someone coming back around, they could be changed for the better. Okay, maybe you knew this person when you were young. They could be missing you. Could be someone you met when you were younger. So, yeah. You see, now this is somebody grown up, mature. So let's have a look. Who is this King of Wands? It does look like they have their strong Pisces with this person. So it... Often it's just an energy of someone being much more confident. Yeah, see, somebody who was confident. See, you're not so sure. Now, this could be someone who feels they missed an opportunity, but, you know, be cautious here, I feel. Don't miss this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, some of you too, like I feel, you know, here you are waiting, and here comes this person. So if you were waiting for another person, maybe you, you know, you're looking at it feeling uh, some sort of rejection here, but it's about putting the shoe on the other foot too for both people. Tell me about this Prince of Wands. Why is this here? Often it's just a communication, but like I feel like it's trying to say this person's grown up. There's someone who rushed into things before and then changed their mind. Now they're, they're smart. They're, um, you know, much more confident. They're a king. 
they're definitely uh, thinking things through. This is something worth fighting for. It's definitely a person who chose their battles. They chose to become financially stable. So it looks like they are. So this is somebody who's kind of more than likely just been on their own path. Queen of Swords. Oh, pardon me. I was going to do the, the Prince of Wands. Why is this here for Capricorn? Prince of Wands. Yeah, so there's definitely been some heartache, possibly third party here for a good time, not a long time. So there's definitely been some heartache. Okay, I can see it. Yeah, so there's someone here you've rejected or they rejected you. It's a person who's often not ready or they're too young. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to be questioning it regardless. Okay, yeah, but don't miss this opportunity. Okay, there's things that you don't know. Okay, yeah. It could be this person missing, feeling they missed an opportunity too. So let's have another look at the King of Wands. What else do you need to know? Yeah, they're definitely very attractive. <laughs> they're attractive, yeah. There's definitely a physical attraction. <laughs> Temperance is here. Is this someone you've been attracted to since you were young? Or are you both single parents and you live in the same neighborhood or building or... Yeah, because it definitely I can see that being a very strong possibility. Whoever they are, they're single. They're definitely single. I feel like you'll be questioning all that too. Yeah, you're not really into anything here for a good time, not a long time um, with this energy, I feel. <laughs> okay, I, I can kind of see it. Some of you may have some Gemini in your chart too. Yeah, tell me more. Yeah, this person is definitely... You know, I feel they're attractive. I do feel this is someone who focuses a lot on the physical. Like when they're attracted to someone, they go for it. But often once they get to know this person, they change their mind. So I feel there's a little vice versa here because the hanged man, see, putting the shoe on the other foot. Yeah. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, head and heart. See, balance between head and heart. There you go. See, it's making a decision with the balance between two. If you've been hurt before or there's been a third party, like I say, somebody who didn't stick around and hurt you, okay? You're wiser. You're not rushing. You're thinking things through. But this person's the same because you're putting the shoe on the other foot. You're both feeling the same. So there is an attraction and this opportunity for a fresh new start. Looks like some kind of invitation to date, and it looks like this person's kept you kind of waiting. So let's have a look. And maybe while you're waiting, you have another person coming in. So, yeah. I don't think you're into anybody who doesn't plan on sticking around or just wants to have fun. Yeah, I just, I'm just not seeing that with you here. Not with the Empress energy, because you've mastered the elements of the Queens. Okay, the feminine here. And you can flip this to the masculine's point of view if you wish, the emperor. But like I say, the emperor here has to do with building. They want to build. So this is somebody who does work a lot. There's no doubt they work very hard. Uh, they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. But I also feel this is someone who's somewhat private. They have a tendency to keep things to themselves. You know, it could be a little bit of a loner. Sometimes you get people who are a little bit of loners spend a lot of time alone, work, spending more time on work. But I actually feel this is an energy of somebody who's now ready to focus on their love life. See, they've chose their battle to be stable. Yeah, it looks like they have a house and a home. They've invested wisely. So I don't know if it's you not trusting or them. It kind of looks like them a little, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what comes up for that. So it has to do with, yeah, look at that news coming. There's the sun. See, it's someone who's releasing baggage, uh, maybe paying off debt, making sure they're debt-free, maybe mortgage-free. So it does look like some possibly older people or someone who's just, you know, leaving somebody behind here that's not pulling their weight, not putting in enough effort. So some of you definitely are taking back your power, moving away. The next person comes in. I do feel like you're going to be discerning. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, you've been hurt. Some of you definitely been hurt. Yeah, see third party. I also see this could be somebody, a friend, or someone giving you advice to make a balance head and heart. 
Let's see somebody who's speaking up could be somebody actually speaking up on your behalf for something here but it looks like you got a person who's been checking you out online dating social media okay they could be connected to a friend but you could very well be that queen of swords energy it's so often just connected to the empress someone who's not afraid of speaking up speaking their mind but in a kind way because why there's balance so yeah all well, isn't always what it seems it takes time to get to know someone that's what i feel so look at there's the opportunity so it looks like an opportunity so this is somebody coming in putting their best foot forward planting the seed see building the foundation if you have somebody maybe who was at a distance or moving too slow okay it's hard to get to know someone it's hard to build a relationship the foundation of a relationship if there's someone that spends more money on work or you know likes too much me time where they're more focused on self so watch that but see this is where i feel that you've had this see you've been hurt by someone who you know here for a good time not a long time so that's what i feel you've got someone here who's definitely passionate they're attractive i feel this is two people attracted to each other yeah see this is somebody here who's wise they've learned as well they're very logical very sensible strategic they're analyzing the situation i do think you're going to be able to communicate well so i feel it's just an energy of you know sharing your innermost selves maybe a little fear could be a little fear of commitment or a little bit you know a little little bit afraid of sharing their innermost selves but i feel it's an energy where this is someone who's pretty confident i feel they're feeling pretty confident about a decision to you know to start this to plant the seed to build see they want to build something they know it's going to take effort yeah but if you have had a person who didn't pull their weight okay someone who didn't pull their weight yeah that's what i feel you know that's where i feel like you're out of here but you could be reminiscing about that some of you definitely this could be someone you knew young who didn't stick around broke your heart they could be coming back around again definitely change for the better but you both will have changed with that energy you'll both have changed see something here changed you forever too though i feel it's some kind of real heartache there so but i do feel it's an energy of just letting it go it's baggage okay yeah now if you have a situation with someone who is moving slow not pulling their weight they could be uh, maybe blaming you if you take off in the other direction or you take another opportunity because they kept you waiting too long don't worry about that if someone doesn't hey if somebody doesn't want to commit and they're dragging their feet and all they do is work and you never hear from them they never you know you you don't hear anything from this person for a really long period of time you have every right to keep your options open to be open to other offers and that's kind of what it looks like for some of you pretty good chunk of you actually it's pretty strong energy a lot of cards fit into that scenario yeah so don't let someone blame you <laughs> okay yeah but definitely the moon could be a little fear of commitment like i say maybe even both of you but both of you being discerning it's getting to know each other's innermost selves sharing it's in the emotional intimacy so there's a little fear of intimacy too maybe with two people because you haven't you know been intimate with anybody in a very long time so again that's where that patience tempering the passion see not focusing on the passion the physical connection as much so yeah i feel like we got two people who kind of get it kind of just take it slow build the foundation first get to know each other yeah it's an energy i feel of avoiding that uh, here for a good time not a long if somebody doesn't if you have a person who takes off in the other direction because of that then you know they didn't have your best interest at heart okay so that's the best way to find out if someone is sincere okay is to see if they'll be patient and if they won't be patient it's more than likely not in your best interest yeah but patience goes both ways <laughs> tell me about this king of swords who is this person yeah king of pentacles so this could be yourself okay this reading could be you you could be dealing with uh, someone else here in that empress energy but uh, definitely i feel like this person is connected to the king of swords the king of wands see this is someone who's mastered the elements 
It's either financially stable. This is someone who feels ready uh, to focus on the um, emotional connection. Yeah, see, it's about sharing their innermost selves, doing the inner work. This is someone who's done the inner work. So I feel, and I, the Empress is often someone who's also done their inner work. So I feel there's two people who are ready. I actually feel you're, you're both mature. You're able to take a pause and look at the other person's, how they feel, okay? You know, that's the most important thing, one of the most important things in a relationship um, next to, um, of course, being attracted to each other. Um, but it's also communication and um, learning to see, you know, put the shoe on the other foot. Be able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and see how they feel. So that's why I feel this is a person who's ready for that. They're stable. So definitely it's an energy of just kind of going with the flow, getting to know each other. But there's definitely positive change coming for you. Okay. If it is a person coming back around, yes, they may have changed. If they haven't, okay, don't be afraid to question it. Be discerning. Be wise. And I definitely can see that person who was young, who's missing you, longing for love. Or some of you, it's just a crush too. Yeah, see. You got someone in their feelings. They're exploring it. They're good. You're going to get a communication. Yeah. But like I say, while you're waiting, you may have another opportunity. <laughs> See? Cycle. No more waiting. See? Things are shifting in your favor. Yeah. It's a whole new cycle. See? Right there is the cycle right there. Now, I don't know if some of you had something that was on and off. You didn't hear from someone often. They just kind of focused more on work. You only heard from this person when they were focused on that physical attraction. See, that's the person here. I feel like if any of you, that's the person you're going to be moving away from. You're the one with the power here, okay? The Empress is the one with the power, okay? So this is, if it, you have somebody here who's trying to control uh, the speed at which this relationship goes, that connection, Okay, the love, the physical connection, then I feel it, they may not have your best interest at heart because it takes both people to be patient here. And that's what it's saying. I feel this person will be. See, so look at that change for the better emotional fulfillment. Two people putting all their cups on the table. See, it's teaching each other how you want to be treated. But we have it's about you may have to agree to disagree on some things. Okay. But I feel it's just about seeing it from how the other person feels, what it is that they need. There's a, You both have your fears. Maybe someone has a fear of emotional intimacy. The other person's a little afraid of the physical intimacy because they've been single for a while. <laughs> so what we really have is a couple people longing for love here. Yeah. This could be someone you knew young who didn't stick around. They could be coming back around much more stable. Okay, or and much more mature change for the better. So, but it may all may not be what it seems. The moon is here, so like I say, don't be afraid. I don't really feel like there's anything too much to worry about, whether you know the person or not. I feel it's just a, a matter of, you know, just kind of going slow. See if they're sincere. If they're not, you're out of here. It's that easy. Trust your intuition. How does it? How do they make you feel? See, that's your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. See, it's time to release baggage from past relationships too. Yeah. Or you, like I say, you got an opportunity coming and you're kind of trusting your intuition that you could miss this opportunity if you're waiting for another person who's moving too slow. So, yeah, you're, you're just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you, okay? It's going to tell you. Yeah, let's have one more on that. And then I'll pull out a couple of charms. Yeah, see, victory, success. This is someone who's determined to have success and victory, but it's also an energy where you go within, right, and look at things from a different perspective, and you may see the truth. This is someone who's moving too slow. They may not be someone who pulls their weight in a relationship. They may have baggage from a past relationship. Okay, because like I say, often when people drag their feet and they move too slow, <laughs> they sometimes are more kind of concerned about themselves. They're not really ready uh, for any kind of a commitment or relationship. But most of you, I really feel like it's someone who's getting financially ready, focused on their money, paying off debt, coming in without burdens or baggage. Uh, a house and a home, a strong financial foundation. So 
like I say, it's an energy of someone who's investing wisely, and I do feel it has to do with being patient. So, you know, just like I say, if it is somebody new, you know, like I say, just remember the things you've learned from the past. So let's have a look at this King of Pentacles. What is this person's intentions? They want to offer you this pentacle. But I do feel you know, there's a little things that they don't know. I think this person wants more time to get to know you. Like I say, there could be a little fear of rejection too. If it is a person coming back around you knew when you were young, that crush, or it's a crush that never went anywhere. You know, this person's coming in right, see, playing fair. They are thinking commitment. They are putting their best foot forward, planting the seed. So it's about being fair. It's about, this is someone, like I say, this is somebody who's changed their mind before. So I feel this is someone who's thinking things through before they start it. So that's something that's good to know. It's a person who figures out what they want, what makes them happy. Okay. They think it through before they communicate. Where you have this other energy of someone who rushed in, then changed their mind and didn't stick around. And yes, it could be the same person. Yeah, coming back around, coming in right. See, it's about coming in right. So let's have a look at the moon. Yeah, something to do with music. So I do see romance when I see these. It's somebody definitely having romantic thoughts. So I do see some romance. This person strategized and analyzing how to go about things the right way. <laughs> See, they got to come in right, <laughs> romantic energy. You know, something to do with music. This person might even bring music. They may, this person could send you music in, in way of messages. Okay. Yeah, I do see there's an anchor, which often connects to um, water sign energy being their own anchor. So I actually feel this is someone who is ready for a commitment. I really do. I, I feel like I, I feel their energies here, your energy, um, you know, this little bit of past energy. But it's definitely a person who's been single a while, too. Like so, sometimes when people are single for a long time, there's a little fear of that emotional intimacy, you know, and physical intimacy. So you know, that's that's not, you know, that's just one of those things. And I do think this is someone who's fair. They want this to work. They want this to be successful. So they're going to do things just right. But it's also a person who wants to make sure that you're the right person for them before they share too much about themselves, which could be their finances, things about their work. They'll probably tell you what they do for work, but don't think they'll tell you a whole lot about their finances until they get to know you more. Yeah. Wow. Lots of vice versa here. So let's have another look at this. Four of Wands. Yeah. Ah, forget me not. He loved, do they love me? Do they love me not? Forget me not. Yeah, there's no one like you, I can tell you. Some of you know who this is. Someone you knew some time ago. When you were young, or it's a crush that never really went anywhere. They may be in your social circle. Friend of a friend. Somebody here's got some Libra, feminine energy with Libra in their chart, which could come from the Empress, but there could be someone who gives you advice or they're getting some advice. <laughs> yeah, a friend or family, someone in that social circle. You might both know this person. Let's have a look at the Seven of Pentacles. See, this is someone who's now thinking about marriage. You see? Yeah. If it is someone you know, there's no one like you, I'll tell you. There, this person's definitely confident. See, they're very confident. There's that unicorn. Very strong. Strong mind, strong will. Yeah. Pushing through any fear, they're taking this opportunity. So we have to take those opportunities that are presented. And what you do with it from there requires patience. And tempering of passions, tempering of emotions... See, getting out of your head, not getting into your head. Okay. Yeah. If it is someone coming back around, they definitely, there's a temptation, I feel. Especially if they have changed for the better and they're more stable, dependable, more grounded, maybe even more attractive. 
One never knows. Let's have a look at the seven of ooh, seven of pentacles, the letter E, the letter L. I want to look at this truth, this success, this person who's determined, see, not to lose control of their emotions, not to rush into it and get all in their feelings too fast. <laughs> Why? Because they've, been, they've done that before. Yeah, and they lost control. Yeah, there it is. Two hearts. Truth. There's a connection. This is an energy of someone who's looking for love. So I feel there's something about the two of you here, you know, something very similar. You know, maybe you both want to, I do feel like you both want to take this slow. And it has to do with putting in that work. And I do feel like you both work a lot too. So there's more than likely, you could be just at that time of your lives where work is really important. So it's really about balancing that out too. I do see some glasses. It's about seeing. Someone could be trying to find out, too, if you're seeing anybody. But it's about taking off the rose-colored glasses and seeing. You see? Take it off the blindfold, too. Let's have a look at the Ace of Cups. Certainly doesn't have to be someone you know. You know, not with, it, not with these cards the way they are. It really could be just a crush who's kind of checking you out, looking to see if you're single. You look like you take care of yourself. You look successful. Okay, definitely somebody who looks single. There's no doubt about it. And it could be a person you work with, a higher up too. So what is this Ace of Cups? Yeah, so there's that circle. So it has to do with commitment. Now, one thing I'll tell you, if this person makes a date, they will commit to it. Okay, they will put in the effort. They will put in the effort to how they present themselves, put their best foot forward. They'll dress nice as well, you see. Somebody who's well-groomed, you see. It's another energy of maturity. I kind of like this person. And then there's the uh, the horse. See, this is a person who's definitely, you know, they're just going for it here. You know, they're definitely attracted. They are a person. They have fire in their chart. I can feel it. I can see it in the cards that they are attracted to that physical attraction, you see? But that doesn't mean this person is out of control by any stretch, okay? Because I feel they've tempered all that. Yeah, tell me more about the Zemper and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the letter A. This is a person who's done their inner work, you see? That's what I like about them, so, yeah. They could work near you, somewhere around your neighborhood or someplace in your community. Someone you know might work with this person. There, sometimes when I see this, it's an energy of someone trying to set somebody up. Yeah. A, W. There's a bow. So there's some kind of a gift. The letter N. Well, let's have a look at the single one. The letter S and a key. So the key is communication. Okay. The key is letting somebody know that you're open and available. <laughs> but it has to do with the key to someone's heart. So this is why I feel some of you got someone who's, you've already got the key to someone's heart here, put it that way. Yeah, a lot of you know who this is. If you can't think of who it is, I mean, it's possible. Maybe you weren't as emotionally connected to this person as they were to you. It could be just somebody that when you were really young, maybe, you know, I'm seeing youthful energy, teenage, young adult, maybe at your first job, okay? You might not clue into who this is right away. <laughs> yeah, you might be surprised, though. Let's have a look at the Ten of Cups. Yeah, there it is. See, somebody with some, the Pisces energy, fish in their, the fish energy, just going with the flow. Uh, beautiful. I do see a why. So I do see asking this person why or uh, I actually see a yes, to be honest, because it's emotionally fulfilling. This person's coming in. They're communicating. It's happy. It's going to make you happy. I think this is a pretty happy person, too. Yeah, P. They're just somebody, I feel, who kind of followed their own path in life. So, but yeah, I mean, it has to do with the timing. Maybe it wasn't right. It is now. But it's all in divine timing, and I feel that timing is now, because why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Maybe you've both ended something recently. Something that's going to bring the two of you together here. Yeah, 
In fact, you some of you actually could have felt this person was the one because I see the heartache. The, somebody who maybe broke your heart or maybe you broke theirs. Yeah. Or both of you. Yeah. See, it's about releasing. There's the leaf. Releasing all that. It no longer serves. Yeah. One more. The letter K. Two Ks. Let's have a look at justice. Yeah, see, there it is, the turtle energy. Slow and steady wins the race. So, um, could be some Taurus energy. The Taurus energy could come from the feminine because of the Empress, but it's really just energy of someone coming in, change for the better, or it's just financial growth and prosperity, and there's just change coming. Yeah, I see romance, though. I can definitely see someone ro thinking about romance. Maybe, you know, giving you a gift. Maybe it's music. Uh, sometimes I see that when I see music, I see a CD. <laughs> and I do see the bow there, putting effort, putting in some effort. They want this to work. You know, I got, I, this is a lovely energy for you, Capricorn. Yeah, and see, there's the shoe, putting their best foot forward. This person, you yeah, know, there's the decision, the call, the communication. No, there's a, a judgment. It's up to you to judge or decide, especially if it is someone coming back around. Okay, but there's change coming. It's positive change for the better. Yeah. Could be, like I say, there could, like I, this person could be just planning something romantic here, you know? Yeah. So I wish you the best. The anchor is what I like the most because this is somebody who is their own anchor. And that's why I feel some of you, it, it's that King of Cups energy coming. It's just going to take this person a little bit of time, okay, to express themselves, their emotional self. So patience is required, okay? Because that Pisces Cancer, either you have that in your charts or you, some of you have um, different energies, different people here. Little different energies. Pretty much the same in a lot of ways, though. But I do see some Gemini. And some Libra. Okay. So, Gemini is a good energy in some ways. Because what I feel it is, is you know, it's a person who's able to put the shoe on the other foot. They can think of things from two different perspectives, two point of views, before they make a decision. <laughs> And that's kind of good in a way. That's one of their skills, you know. They're able to manifest. So I wish you the best. They are their own anchor, though. They're steady. This is somebody who's controlling their emotions. And I, I feel like that's... Some of you might look at that negative. Oh, they're controlling their emotions. Well, this person's controlling them until the time is right. You see? They're going to do things in the right way at the right time. So they'll either introduce you to their friends and family. I feel you're going to have a few dates before they do that. Friends and family and then some kind of a commitment. So they're at least going to commit to the path or make a commitment to, you know. It's about two people discovering each other with the moon. So, yeah, it's about sharing your inner selves. It's not easy. So somebody here is very, very private. Likely because they have spent a lot of time alone, been single a long time. So, yeah, just patience. Do take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.